Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Corey. Welcome to Blind Hog Adventures. Appreciate you coming along. I'm here with an awesome dude that we've actually met online a lot, and I actually got a chance to come with him today. I was invited by Mr. Lee, a uh, spiritual mentor of mine and good friend, to come along and do some drum fishing, and I have never really done this, so I'm excited. So introduce yourself. How did I get it with you, man? Hey, you guys. I'm Captain Patrick Whaley. Uh, I chartered basically the Pamlico, News River, and Bay River in North Carolina. do a little bit down at the beach. Um, we're going to be targeting old drum today, but I specialize in trout, drum, flounder when we have that season, rock, so any of those inshore species. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at 336-909-3884. Or you can reach me on my Instagram account, just search Patrick Whaley. I'm usually holding a fish right there. For a fitness trainer, my man does that too. He's heavy into CrossFit. Hit me up, guys. All right, y'all. Later. Bye. We'll see you on the border. Guys, we got our first one on. The Chilean Thunder from down under. There you go, you got it. Oh yeah, that's a pretty one right there. Oh, he wants to go deep right here. Second one on, in a matter of seconds. Cap's got him on. Yeah, he's a big pound fish right there. Woo! I'm gonna get that hook out while we're sitting here and while he's fighting that fish. Another 40 plus, yes sir. He's gonna be mighty close to 50 in. Oh yeah, he's Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Lee? That's good. That's worth the trip. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Pretty work, boys. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Take it. And I'm like, if it's hacked. Did you see that? I did. Well, it started a minute ago. I told him I thought it was a bluefish because it. it Oh yeah, it was something. It nibbled it. We saw it a minute ago. It was nibbling it. Shot. We got something right here. Right here. You want this in? Who wants it? Who wants it? Mr. Lee? You want it? Come on, I need somebody. Here, I'll take it, Dan. Y'all want it? One of you guys want it? All right, then I'm gonna take it. You got it? Yep. <laughs> oh, he broke uh -oh. off. Come on, reel. Reel. Just reel him back in. Oh, wait. Yeah. Is it still there? It's still there. Alright. Really? If you think he's off reel as fast as you can, because what happened is. He made a run. It's a sight and it took off the other direction. Got to pull with the rod. And now reel too. 
pull with the rod and reel too. If you do that, what will happen is you won't cause that rod to bounce around. But if you see it be really easy, the rod's just going to bounce all the time. And you want to pull with that, and you do it, yeah. Try to bring him to you by pulling on him, not by reeling. And you'll usually prevent that. I like to play a game of chaos. Oh yeah, that's a big one right there, bud. I like to play a game of can we get every rod in the door with uh chaos. Oh, this is gonna be a new PB. Oh, that's a new PB right there. You can drag him all the way to this side. Oh, that's a big drum. Keep going, keep walking, keep walking, keep pulling. There you go. That way if he goes down, you can pull it. Oh yeah, is that your first one? That's my second. Biggest one ever. Big boy right there. Hey, you looking at the fish? <laughs> That's a fish! 49 and a half, y'all. Holy cow, maybe 49. I don't care. It's awesome. Get up with your boy. Cap there is the man. Cap with you. Yeah. That's why I like to swim that tail. They'll, they belly up, they go catatonic just like shark. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I appreciate you, dude. Yeah, yeah, bro. Man. yeah I'm good. Sweet work, fellas. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, you that was you awesome. Do. Hold that tail. So while you're doing your thing, I ask you a question. Why? So we're out here, guys, we're out here in the, I'm just going to say the coastal waters. I'm not giving away any spots of my captain today. I promised I wouldn't, and I'm not going to. So we're out here on a coastal uh, bull drum trip. So, Patrick, what made you just choose, when we're looking for bull drum, what are you looking for when you come out here to set up? In other words, what's something that you're looking for that says, okay, this is, makes it, when I'm looking on a map, I'm looking on uh, diagrams, whatever I'm looking at, right, charts, whatever, what is something you look for to set up for bull drum? Man, basically what we're looking for, you know, when these drums come in, they're using channels, uh, basically slews, if you will, yeah. and they're finding rock piles and stuff like that. So, by rough piles, what I mean is like oyster piles out the sound. In the Pamlico Sound, there's probably 200, maybe 300 oyster piles right. all across the sound. And those are the secret spots nobody talks That's about. That's right. But, we don't uh, talk about those. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, but what, what we're basically doing is you're trying to find ledges that align with the path of how those drums are moving right so basically the underground underground highways they're yeah. looking for yeah, yeah it's like the interstates highway. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like anything else that's right um, but um right now a lot of these drum are towards the mouth of the rivers towards the sound so if you most people that are catching drum right now because we had so much rain earlier in the year most people catching drum are catching drum down river and in the sound so you know, there's probably another 15 charter captains out here right now that are, we're all bouncing around rock piles, ledges, working different spots. I mean, not necessarily one spot's better than another one. And those fish move around, they go to different spots. You just kind of, if you find the presence of bait, like we've got bait flicking yeah, around. Yeah, so, right so what are you looking for, like around that makes it a good spot, like you just said? We, we're sitting on a ledge that happens to have an oyster rock, basically okay. sitting on the ledge. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Kind of increases your odds, if you will. Yeah. And there's a ton of bait in here. There's birds working in this area. I call it the three B's. You're looking yeah. for busting fish, bait, and yeah, birds. That's the same thing when yeah, you're, that's I mean. essentially what you're looking for. Same thing on the big three inshore species. Yeah, yeah. okay. And um, we're using menhaden, cutting menhaden today. Um, the cork bite's been really slow, so um, the cut bait bite's been kind of where it's at. Gotcha. And um, the full moon was a couple days ago, so these fish are going to get more active around those majors and minors. Yeah. Because there's more tide being pulled because of those full moons. Yeah. Um, and now they're and now they're basically feeding because they just got done spawning, yep. right? Yep. Off yep. the full moon. They basically, you're going to be spawning pretty much right around this whole week. Okay. Um, you catch some males, they're going to leave a little deposit in the boat, stuff like that. Um, but they're trying to find those females on these rock piles, and they're trying to mate. I mean, that's what they're doing. They're, yeah. They want to mate, and they want to eat. That's it. So get energy to mate. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right they're they're um, basically the same as we are. <laughs> yeah. So you know, we're we're using we're 
we're using these Lupton rigs. These Lupton rigs are basically what you have to use for old drum. And tell us why. Now, there's a time time limit most yeah, of the time. So is that right? These these rigs have to be used at night. Um, wild drum fishing. okay and what does that do to help help in other words the species essentially that the concept is, is this setup right here will not allow the fish to get gut hooked now, okay it is not a hundred percent nothing is know, nothing right? is but there were some studies done a long time ago i believe george beckwith was in on them and some other captains that were in on them way back when and they did some studies and tried to basically reduce the amount of big drum because those are your spawning fish well that's so part of the kill. conservation we yeah. want to keep them going man um so Basically, you have egg weight. This whole this whole setup, basically, from your swivel to the end of your hook, has basically got to be about six inches. I like to go six to five inches, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, it's basically for me. It's a it's about my, the width of my hand. Okay. That's about what mine is. My yeah. Yeah. But um, and that's only at night. During okay. the day, technically, you can have long leaders. You right. Can, you can Carolina rig. You can do whatever yeah, you want. If but. you're gonna fish from daylight into dark. You're better off just fishing. They don't and, care. and honestly, for the for the fish's health, I mean, what's wrong with trying that? And and and, and I've had plenty of success during the day on this rig, so I'm not going to change it. That's right. Um, but you basically got a egg weight or a flat weight swivel bead on each side. I use a hundred pound mono just because okay. the blue fish are terrible this year. Right. Um, as we've been getting picked off. We've been getting picked now. like crazy, so he's right. definitely earned his keep today. Yeah. Um, crimp it and basically have your leader down to a snail knot. That snail gotcha. knot right there is designed as that fish comes in and eats it, right? That hook is going to spin in the fish's mouth and hook that fish in the corner of the mouth. There we go. Kind of like that right there. And we've seen it work because we've yep. caught, so far we've every caught three and everyone's in right in the corner. Like right in the corner, I mean, right in the tongue. Yeah. You know, all that good stuff. It's They're done what it's meant to do. So, and we've, um, we've had three nice right fish and right release them. So. Yep. so hopefully we can get on a few more. Uh, we got a nice sunset bite, so we're hoping for that golden hour. That's right. You know, kind of a little pot That's of right. here. So. That's right. Yes, sir. And I'm not going to show the sunset because that would maybe give away where we are. So it, it would. And so I'm not going to show the sunset. We are in eastern North Carolina. We're fishing the mouth of the Noose River, the mouth of the Pamlico. We're basically fishing the Pamlico Sound. There you go. And all its tributaries. Um, so I've caught fish in the mouth of the Bay River in the last week. I've caught fish over by Cedar Island in the last week. Um, there are fish one right That's from blue. one side to the other. Yeah. And so they're they're running. Out, I mean, spend time, talk to guys who do it a lot. No one's going to give you their secret spots, but they can give you as much information as they can, and really find ledges. If you can find ledges that have a real hard drop off. Yeah. You know, we're not looking for four foot to eight feet over 200 yards. What I'm looking for is six feet to 16 feet. In 50. 30, 30, okay. Yeah. So you're looking so for a drop off. That causes and creates more current. Yeah. You got to think about it. There's a ledge like this. Water's coming down this way. It's going to create more current yeah. around the corner. That should, theoretically, up your odds of fish passing through that area. Gotcha. Now, if you can find a ledge and a rock pile close to each other, best of both worlds. Gotcha. Um, and they are out there. But yeah. that's basically kind of the gist of it, you know, without giving out other yeah. guys' spots, yeah. my yeah. spots, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not asking, yeah, no, we, we'd never ask that. And that's yeah. part of, we're, we're education, right? We're learning, we're trying to get the species, uh, yeah. get people on the water, and that's the cool thing about it. Yeah. So I appreciate it, man. Appreciate yeah, appreciate man. your information and what you're doing. And yeah. I'm telling y'all, if you're looking for a captain that you want to come out and take a charter with, my man's fun. He'll entertain you. He's gonna, he knows what he's doing. Sweet setup on the boat. I mean, it's, it's, it's first class. So, um, yeah, man. All right. Appreciate you. Yeah. All right, stop going. There you go. There you go. He's on there. Mind your way. Oh, you're good. Anchor line's gonna be fine. Just keep reeling and try to walk him. If he wants to go that way, let him. He'll go right or left. It'll be good. Oh, he's on this side. Come on this way. He's on this way. No, you're fast. Yeah. He went left of the anchor line. There you go, real, oh, real, real, real. He made it, make it a real. Good job, good job. Pretty work, pretty work, pretty work. I feel like I'm a marlin fish around. You're good, dude. If I'm in the way, I'll move. Going underneath the leader. There you go. He doesn't like the GoPro, I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> he was, you that GoPro. On the GoPro? Like, nope, I don't want to be on camera. We're making him a hey, we're making him a star. You got close. He gonna be. He gonna be. 
Alright, reel down. Reel, 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 reel. Pull him this way. There you go. There you go. Don't let him go underneath that thing, Tired yet? That forearm's burning, ain't it? We ain't in Pen or Pennsylvania. <laughs> This is the Chilean Thunder. That's right. Chilean Thunder from down under. You want me to him or you want me to let him get him? <laughs> <laughs> Got, Got him. Got him. Woo! Woo! Yes, sir. Man, got it on film. That's a pretty one right there. That was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> you got three more kids. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can, I can feel it. You can feel it? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, that's a good photo right there, boys. Gotcha. Nice. Cool. All right, y'all. So we are wrapping this thing up. We have had an awesome, awesome night. We are heading on for it gets dark. Thank you so much, man, Absolutely, for what you've bro. done. Anytime. We ended up landing, what? Four uh, fish, four fish, had seven bites in about three or four hours. So not bad. Not bad at all. Let's introduce everybody. Introduce yourself. Hey, hey everybody. Pato, the Chilean Thunder from <laughs> Down Under. <laughs> we got Mr. Lee Allen. Yes. Nice to see you, Mr. Lee. Nice I appreciate trip. Mr. Nice Lee trip. set this uh, trip up and we are so appreciative. And my man getting up the the uh, the anchor that is, is doing an awesome job. Introduce yourself, buddy, while we're finishing out. Kevin Burroughs. Nice to meet everybody. All right. <laughs> Okay, all right. And so we have had a great time. So appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, come on along for the next adventure. Appreciate y'all. God bless.